Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. So I'm playing with my new oscilloscope here, the SDS-1202XE uh, uh, by Sigland. And this is um, a 200 megahertz uh, uh, two-channel uh, uh, oscilloscope. So uh, it's the cheapest, basically, of this line of Sigland entry-level oscilloscopes, but for me, I think it was, uh, I mean, it's a good deal. 200 megahertz is something that I can, um, you know, uh, enjoy in, with uh, RF in mind. And the, the two channel limitation is not, uh, I don't think I need uh, so much for channels. Anyway, I think with two I can, I can do several experiments and measurements. So, um, I just want to, in this video, to basically show you a couple of things. First thing is I want to check that this is indeed a 200 megahertz uh, uh, oscilloscope and to do that I basically have to check the bandwidth right so I get uh, to input a signal here and um, at the moment I have a, an input signal of 3 megahertz at uh, the input at uh, 0 uh, dBm um, so 0 dBm uh, by the way it's as you can see uh, about uh, 0 0.31 uh, uh, peak um, and so here um, you see here what what we have the peak is at 300 millivolts so that's correct and uh, the RMS is about 210 millivolts which is uh, uh, what you expect yeah more or less so this is uh, let's say the the, the real the, uh, by the way yeah this oscilloscope is only a one uh, mega ohm uh, input and so here you have these 50 ohm uh, terminations as you can see here right so i'm connecting uh, since uh, the signal is generated by 50 ohm output uh, signal generator i i need to connect uh, using these uh, terminators by the way i will talk about these things in another video but okay so this is basically the signal as plotted as it should be and the point is that around 200 megahertz, the oscilloscope should lose at most 70% of this uh, of this uh, value. 70% means that the max here, the peak, uh, should go to uh, so the 70 per 210, something like that, right? Uh, so 70% of uh, 300, yes, yeah, should be 210 millivolts. And so basically now I'm going to increase the frequency up to the point where we reach uh, uh, that level. By the way, I don't have uh, um, you know, a 200 or 300 megahertz signal generator. My signal generator only reaches 30 megahertz. But I have my spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator that can basically generate a signal up to 1.8 gigahertz. So I'm using that. Uh, it's calibrated, so it's perfect for the task. I can uh, uh, just uh, generate the signals I need up to the frequencies I need. So let me see if I can focus again. Okay, uh, so here you, you can see that the, the scope can measure frequency. So I'm now going to slowly increase the frequency up to uh, the point where we will read the 210 millivolt uh, peak. So frequency is now uh, 4 megahertz, for example. Yeah, so let me goes up goes up much faster so um, let's go to 100 okay so here I am at 133 let me adjust uh, the horizontal scale sorry um, the horizontal scale okay so, so as you can see it's not anymore at uh, uh, 300 it go it went down a bit but we're still above the 210 limit and we are at 133 megahertz. So let's uh, reach our 200 megahertz. Okay, 200, 202. And so you see we are still quite uh, quite above uh, the limit. So in fact, the bandwidth of this oscilloscope is more it's more than uh, the declare 200 megahertz, which is great. And uh, so let me actually go uh, a bit more. Uh, let's see when we get uh, to the limit so let me try 240 for example 250 uh, so 250 you see we are yeah at about uh, 208 millivolts yeah so basically the bandwidth is uh, uh, 250 
and this is uh, actually makes some sense because uh, as a I mean, with one uh, giga sample, theoretically speaking, in a purely mathematical world, we could uh, get uh, uh, basically a, a signals up to 500 megahertz. But in practice, you need at least four times. Uh, um, you, you know, you, you need. Uh, I mean, uh, the megahertz, the bandwidth should be at least four times lower than the, the samples rate. So, in this case, 250, and it looks like uh, it's. Uh, it's what uh, we have here. So I'm very happy with that. Um, something that I'm very um, happy about is that uh, this um, oscilloscope have a fast Fourier transformation operation that I'm now going to discuss. I always wondered if the, the signal that comes out of this uh, signal generator is pure or it is uh, it contains harmonics, right? So for sure it contains some harmonics because the point here is not to be um, a perfect sine uh, wave. But how, ma how many, how much, how strong they are? Is it a uh, nice signal or not, right? So, of course, I could never check this uh, in, any, in any detail. But I can uh, check this uh, with uh, the FFT now. Uh, I'm going to show you how. So, first, I'm going to put back uh, this, uh, the tracking generator at 10 mega. So, we go to a much lower um, frequency rate. Okay. So the, the signal looks uh, pretty sinusoidal, which is uh, uh, good news. So it's not a, a square wave. We are back to 10 megahertz, as you can see. But now let me activate uh, the fast Fourier transformation. So it's, it's going to act basically as a spectrum analyzer. And, um, and yeah, so let me actually play a little bit with uh, the parameters. So I'm going to set the scale at 10 dB per division instead of the 20 that we were a second ago and let me put the reference level at uh, let's say uh, 10, uh, 10 dBm okay just a second all right so as you can see um, in the middle here we have uh, basically DC, zero, um, zero megahertz. And um, currently we are having, for each division, we are having, uh, um, let's see, we are having uh, uh, 50 megahertz. So 50, uh, 100, 150, 200, 250 megahertz, as written up there. And so indeed, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, spectrum, uh, this FFT, is showing up us that there is a big peak at uh, around 10 megahertz basically and uh, and there are no harmonics and that's uh, that's great i can reduce of course i can increase the resolution so instead of having 50 megahertz per, per division let's uh, go down significantly let's say to 10 megahertz and um, right so i have now 10 megahertz per division um, uh, right, the center now we're not at zero. So look at here, the uh, this vertical line here uh, in the in the center corresponds to five megahertz, and so um, basically, from what we can see here, uh, we have ten megahertz per division. So it looks like we, it's showing a peak at around uh, hmm. 7.5 megahertz right or am i wrong so let me play with this i'm not sure uh so let me put the center at zero so like that right yeah okay so it's showing me correctly so sorry for the confusion yeah it's showing me correctly that the peak is at uh, 10 megahertz and uh, at uh, 0 dbm so here in the vertical uh, scale i set uh, to display the values in dbm you can have uh, several other options, but it's, it's precise in that because we have indeed, as we know, a zero dBm, um, a zero dBm uh, output from the tracking generator. So let me uh, show you instead if I connect uh, a square wave generated by, by my signal generator. So not uh, the, 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 um, the spectrum analyzer, but my 30 megahertz signal generator. 
and I'm going to generate uh, a uh, let's say 20 megahertz uh, uh, square wave and so here we see indeed a peak at the, the, the 20 megahertz and we know that square waves should have uh, harmonics at a very odd uh, multiple of the main frequency right so I expect uh, another harmonic at uh, 60 megahertz and then uh, uh, all the uh, other odd multiples so let me extend again uh, here the scale uh, let's go back to 50 megahertz per division and so yeah here we see we can see all the, the harmonics the odd harmonics uh, indeed here we have uh, um, these harmonics look looks like yeah let me uh, the center is there so it looks like we are having an harmonic at 100 megahertz uh, so let me think if that's correct so the first is at 20 right then we have uh, one at 60 and indeed the third harmonic is at 100 correct then 140 exactly it works like that so we we, we skip uh, basically we, every interval is, is of 40 megahertz and you can see how nice the spectrum is uh, up to 250 megahertz which is anyway the the maximum of this oscilloscope so it can really be used as a it's not really uh you know as good as a spectrum analyzer but it's a pretty interesting thing to have such a such a nice and fast to use uh, um, uh, fast Fourier transformation in an oscilloscope so i'm very happy with that and that uh, i can check uh, you know the quality of signals up to you know de definitely for our hf radios or from 0 to 30 megahertz you can see the main uh, harmonic and then all the harmonics i mean the main signal and then all the harmonics so you can check if things are are, are good so i'm very happy about um, about this um, oscilloscope the only thing that uh, i i i wish uh, it had was a double option for the impedance of the input so as i said here we just have uh, uh, one uh, mega ohm and so if you want to connect things uh, with um, uh, 50 ohm instead uh, you need uh, basically to have uh, an impedance match uh, solution li like this um, yeah anyway but that's a small uh, small uh, problem really you just need to attach uh, something like that okay so that's uh, that's it for this video I'll see you next time bye bye